Uh, they call this guy the Paul Bunyan of football. He's a teenager from California. He's seven feet tall. 440 pounds. Yeah, John Cron plays for his high school team and has, of course, what appears to be a big future ahead of him. Maybe. Imagine you're the average high school quarterback and lining up across from you is someone two and a half times your size. That happened every single Friday night in Southern California, where high schooler John Cron was a seven foot tall, 440 pound lineman. Yes, you heard that right. Seven foot 440 pound lineman. John garnered national attention when he went viral back in 2015. Everyone tuned in to see the giant play against his smaller high school opponents. His high school highlight videos to date have reached millions of views online. He was even being referred to as the biggest football player ever. Now it's been years since John first went viral, and many are starting to ask whether he is still playing and where he is now. John was born and grew up in Riverside, California. He is the son of John Cran Sr. and Cindy Cron. Since birth he was always massive in size. His father is 6 foot 3, 330 pounds, and his mother around 5 foot 9. When they asked John's father how he got to be so big he stated. Honestly, they don't make anything his size. He's just big. Growing up at such a large size can be uncomfortable, and John even mentioned he felt out of place when he would try to do the normal things kids his age were doing. It wasn't until he started playing football at the age of 13 that he found use for his size. As a kid he was forced to dabble in sports he liked far less, such as baseball and basketball, until arriving at Martin Luther King High School in Riverside, California. The size that kept him off some rides at Disneyland also put him past the limits of his local youth football league. He found football to be something he loved. As his passion grew for the game, so did he. John already was 6 foot 5 when he started high school. He grew three more inches by sophomore year, the first where he made the varsity squad, and four more by the start of his senior year. People in the community were saying, hey, you've got to check out this kid. Soon it wasn't just his small community talking, it was people from all across the nation. Outside of a few local pieces, the coverage of Cron leading up to his senior year had been limited. That changed on September 24, 2015, the day Max Preps introduced the world to the biggest football player on earth. His combined height and weight made him bigger than any current NFL player, and possibly bigger than any NFL player ever. Seven-footer Richard Sly played eight games for the Oakland Raiders in 1967, but NFL records put his weight at a mere 300 pounds. To put Cron's size in perspective, consider this. He wears a size 18 shoe, which is the same size as former NBA giant Yao Ming. The evidence is harder to come by for the biggest high school player ever, but it's safe to say Cron would compete for the top spot. Even with the visual proof, it was difficult to process. Over the next few days, the Cron story spread like wildfire. We had Division I coaches on site that said they'd consider offering him if he lost some weight, USA Football's Jimmy Thomas told Max Preps writer Steven Spuak, after Cron participated in a USA football camp in Los Angeles last summer. They think he could be a force at a lighter weight. Although he did not own a Division I scholarship offer when the video went live, Cron's highlight reel quickly became one of the most watched recruiting videos ever created. As of the middle of May, it had been viewed more than 1.65 million times. It felt like an urban legend coming to life like an untold secret being revealed to the world. The interest in Cron that followed was extraordinary but also superficial. People cared because it was different because he was different. But now it was time for college. Where was John going to play? With the help of his mother, they then sent out the tape to coaches and programs across the country. They did not limit this mass mailer, although Junior had his eye on the SEC, Big 12 and the ACC, Big Boy Football, in his eyes. In these emails, Cron expressed his love for the game. He shared the three things in life he cared about most, in order. God, family and football. Together, Cindy Cron and her son sent out hundreds of inquiries. It became a hobby for the two of them. Each was equally passionate about the exercise and the potential payoff. They both wanted the same thing. They both wanted what was best for Junior. But despite the passion and hundreds of emails sent, not one coach asked to hear more. During the night of November 30, Cindy Cron died in her sleep. Her unexpected passing shook the walls of their single-family home. A community struggled to cope with this tremendous loss. Just two weeks before she passed, Cindy posted two images of Junior side by side. It showed his physical transformation between his junior and senior seasons. Below the most recent image of her lean, powerful-looking son, she included the following. Junior, I am so very proud of you and the man you have become, she wrote. Regardless of your age or size. In my heart you will always be my little boy. I love you. 
the reality of not having a Division I home suddenly felt real. And while nothing could fill that void Jr. had practiced to attend, his second serving of internet fame was days away. The International Bowl a game between high school athletes from the United States and Canada had handpicked Kron to be a part of the week-long event. John played well in this game in front of many scouts, but it still didn't seem to be enough. Those who evaluate football at the highest level have deemed the Kron, at least up until this moment, as not worthy of a roster spot. This is not a matter of simply falling through the cracks. Riverside is a big city just 60 miles east of Los Angeles. College recruiters know it well. This is a collective decision. His size is not enticing enough. Kron visited Georgia and Georgia Tech and fell in love with the state. He also felt being a Georgia prep in the heart of SAC country would help him get noticed. He received a walk-on invitation from Alabama and was mulling whether to accept. He eventually made a decision and committed to play at Georgia Prep Academy. He was able to drop down from 400 to 375 pounds. After just one season he transferred to play at Division II program Lincoln University in Missouri. He came in right around 390, and it's not like he was overly big, Lincoln coach Stephen Smith said. It's not one of those deals where he's overly fat. His body is proportioned, and that helps in what he does. He's ready to work. He goes to class, goes to study hall, goes through workouts, and is doing great in the weight room. This is his time to prove the type of player he is. Therein lies the challenge. As Kron got massive media attention, the focus was on how big he was and not what he could do on the field. After just a year at Lincoln, John decided to move down to Riverside Community College for more development and try to pursue his dreams of playing at the Division I level. During his stay at Riverside, he only played in seven games and focused most of his time on weight control. He was even put on a four-workout-a-day program. Yeah, you getting excited? Yeah, I am. Very cool. Now, I know you've had a lot of interest uh, over the last year or so uh, out on the recruiting trail, um, and I may not be your focus right now, getting uh, ready for the season, but um, that you know of, which schools are showing recruiting interest? Um, when I've talked to Coach Moose, he said uh, Oregon uh, has contacted them about me. Uh, Washington has contacted. I've talked to them personally. And then uh, Washington or Utah State uh, asked for my transcripts over the winter. And uh, that's basically where I'm at right now with uh, recruiting. He spent two seasons playing for the junior college before receiving an offer from Division I Portland State. John signed and committed in 2018. He finally got his shot at a Division I program. Since joining in 2019, he has yet to play in a game. The coaches are still working on his weight and speed. Now a senior at SU, he is expected to play in 2021. Will John be able to perform at the highest level or play after college? We will have to see. When asked what he would do after football he expressed wanting to become a police officer.